Hey y'all, it's home decor time. I'm so excited. I have not done a home decor haul with you guys in some time and I've just literally been accumulating decor for months and I was like, okay, I really need to sit down and make a video or I'm just gonna like forget everything I've bought. So I have a bunch of decor goodies to share with you guys today, but I actually didn't lug all of my Ray Dunn I've purchased recently up here. Uh, if you guys want a separate video, just like a Ray Dunn haul, let me know and I'll be happy to share with you guys what I picked up. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this home decor haul because I do have quite a few things to share. So first from Hobby Lobby I got this really gorgeous lemongrass wreath and make sure to pick this up when it's 50% off of floral because it's a really awesome deal. I think it comes to like $10. And this little wreath is just the perfect size for windows or mirrors. I love to hang these over my mirrors. So this one is in the foyer right now. It's from Hobby Lobby. I know you guys are shocked. I picked up more corbels. I got two of this style. And with 50% off wood decor, they were $15 each, which is great. Um, so this is a beautiful natural wood and white distressed corbel. Um, these I'm probably gonna put in the corners of the walls, maybe leading into the dining room. I haven't decided yet. I also picked up another set that was similar to this but had more white. And I actually used those to make a shelf. If you wanna see what that looks like, head on over to my Instagram, I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, these work really great for shelves, just for decor. I have these sitting just on a table, just like this in some of my rooms. So I picked up two of these love corbels. Also from Hobby Lobby, I just picked up this little chippy accent piece. This is really cute just as like a shelf decoration or on a tiered tray. This was $13.99, but I'm pretty sure that I got it 50% off. Always shop the sales. They change every other week. So if it's not on sale the week you're looking, it's likely it'll be on sale the week following. So just be patient. But yeah, I picked up this little architectural piece. Really cute. I have this on the shelf over the couch. Next from Hobby Lobby, I picked up two of these mini cotton wreaths. You guys are going to see a recurring theme here. I have a lot of cotton for fall. I just love the look. I have them on my wood mirrors next to the couch, which I showed you guys in my last home decor haul, um, the ones from Kirkland. So if you haven't seen that haul, I will link that down below as well. But I did put these over the mirrors. Really cute. Um, and I also picked up this Scrub-A-Dub-Dub -dub sign. And this is going to go in our guest bathroom, and this was $15.99, but yeah, pretty sure I paid eight. So this is really, really cute. I love handmade signs like that. Then in our master bedroom, I have this dough bowl. This dough bowl is from Raising Home, uh, one of my girlfriends on Instagram. I will link her account down below. Um, but yeah, this dough bowl is so pretty. Look how gorgeous it is, you guys. I love it. Very rustic and nice. Um, and I just put in here little loose cotton pods. You can get a bag of these at Hobby Lobby for really cheap in the fall department. So I just like how that looks. So, so Target dollar spot, y'all. No, I'm obsessed. I tried to behave myself this year because I bought so much stuff last year. I was unpacking all of my fall decor and I was like, oh my God, what the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> so I tried not to buy as much this year. I just picked up a few things. Um, I got this towel set and it's really cute. It's got the little wreath and it says thankful and it came with two towels. I think it was $5. I picked up a ton of these really cute little $1 suede pumpkins um, and they have like cotton and like a bean sack in them just to keep them nice and heavy and the little faux stem but they're so soft, really rustic and cute. I just have them around the house in my little tiered trays. They're perfect for that. They'd be really cute on a table setting and you can't beat these for one dollar. And then I also picked up this adorable sign. It has a really cute rustic wooden a frame and the wire hanger. And I was really excited to find this in the dollar spot because it's super similar to the really popular Fresh Baked Pies World Market sign, which I have never been able to find. We don't have a local world market and it's always sold out online. So when I saw this dupe for it, I was like, heck yeah. So I picked that up, love it. At Michael's, you guessed it, more cotton. I know it's really ridiculous. Um, they actually sell their cotton in these adorable little bouquets. It's like a little bundle. Um, and I think I went when it was 50% off and they had 25% off your entire purchase, including sale items. So I got this for 75% off, which made it really inexpensive. And it's just so cute. And I actually just have this in our kitchen sitting in this little urn. 
Um, just a really cute decor piece and they're very full and natural looking, so I love it. Also from Michaels, I got six of these really pretty decorative chargers. I heard about these from my girl Diapers and Decor over on Instagram, I'll link her down below. She shared a table setting with these and I was like, oh my God, where are they from? I love them. I was surprised when she said Michaels because I thought they're just so gorgeous, are they not? So our local store didn't have any, so I had to order mine online, but they were really affordable. Um, let's see, $4.99 a piece, and I believe that they were on sale as well. And they're just a distressed ivory, and it has this beautiful ribbing that goes all the way around. So these are going to be really pretty for my fall table setting, which I will share with you guys over on my Instagram. So I got these chargers. From my absolute favorite restaurant on the planet Earth, Cracker Barrel. Um, I love their gift shop. They always have so many cute things. I got this gorgeous handmade rustic fall sign that says the fondest memories are made when gathered around the table. And it is real wood, you guys. So really nice and sturdy. And it has the little hanger. Um, this is $29.99. And you can see it has beautiful fall leaves at the top. So this is just a really gorgeous fall sign. Now that I'm talking about Cracker Barrel, I'm hungry. I absolutely love their food. I seriously could eat there every day. It's a problem. So next from Kirkland's, I just picked up this adorable rolling pin. It actually looks really vintage, so I thought it was super cute. I want to get a bunch of vintage old rolling pins and put them in a it's like ceramic crock. I love that look. Um, but yeah, this is my first one. So really excited. Great deal at Kirkland's. I'm so excited about this, you guys. I actually won this in a giveaway on Instagram and I felt like I hit the lottery because this is a real merino wool throw from Artisan Home. And I had been lusting after these big chunky knit throws for the longest time. So when I won, I just like almost cried, literally. So this is a big, huge throw and you can see it has the gorgeous chunky knit. And if you have not felt this wool, it is seriously the softest ever. I love this not only just to keep you warm and cozy, but also for decor pictures. I wish you guys could feel it. It's amazing. So I got that throw from Artisan Home and I love it. I also got a couple of baskets from Big Lots. I actually got new end tables from Kirkland's for the living room. So I wanted to get new baskets to go inside. So picked these up at Big Lots. They were super cheap. They are water hyacinth. And then the inside is like this nice um, sort of canvasy material really pretty so they came in three different sizes this i believe is the medium size next i got the cutest mini farmhouse sign from my girl the american farmhouse on insta i will link her down below as well it just has this gorgeous straw handle so you can hang it anywhere i have ours where our board and batten is it just says home sweet home isn't that cute? And she can really put anything on there that you guys want it to say. She has cute little fall ones and everything. So definitely check her out. So the last few items I want to share with you guys are all handmade by my friends, Mike and Wendy. Um, Mike's business is Timber Knot Woodworking. Mike and his wife, Wendy, are both extremely talented makers. I met them through Instagram. Uh, Wendy's business name is Coffee Crafts and Chaos. I've talked about her here on my channel before. She's made a lot of the beautiful hand made farmhouse signs in our home. Um, for example, the big one that says welcome to our farmhouse when you first walk in, it's like a huge sign. She made that one for me um, and quite a few others. She's very talented. Um, and Wendy's husband, Mike, again at Timber Knot Woodworking, um, hand makes a ton of really amazing wood items. Um, so I have some of those to share with you guys today. I ordered these balusters. And he hand makes these and paints and distresses them. Aren't they gorgeous? So they look like real architectural salvage, real vintage balusters. Um, really, really pretty. And it's in this white distressed finish. I bought two of these to go on either end of our shelf over the couch and they look amazing. It can be really hard to find reasonably priced real architectural salvage. So I love that these are new. I don't have to worry about lead paint or anything and you can get whatever size that you want. So absolutely love those. He also made me these beautiful spindles and all of them are different. This is my set of three. And you can see, again, my favorite, the white chippy distressed. I'm a sucker for that. I have these sitting on our foyer table. You can also put them on shelves. You can put them in a basket standing up. Um, just really fun. So many different uses for those. And so excited about these 
huge chunky candlesticks. Look at these you guys. Hand turned, see just flat on the top here for your candles. I also have a pumpkin sitting on one, so definitely versatile. Um, they make these in a number of sizes as well, so if you wanted a bigger one, a smaller one, um, they can pretty much make whatever you want. Uh, but again, love the white chippy distressed finish. They'll also stain them. They can really do any color. And I do have pictures of how I've styled these on my Instagram as well. Highly recommend checking out Timber Knot Woodworking and Coffee Crafts and Chaos. The power couple. I love them. So I'm going to go ahead and link them down below as well. Okay, guys, so that was everything that I had to share with you all today. If you'd like to see more home decor videos, give this video a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments below if you all are interested in seeing a Ray Dunn haul. I can definitely share with you guys the unicorns I found over the past couple of months. So thank you all again for watching, and until next time, bye, y'all.